hands on. Like, I yeah. kind of want to touch you. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't. <laughs> Do you call them and be like, where, what are you doing? Where, where are you? We try not to let me use the radio. I'm not sure <laughs> why. <laughs> are the trucks, are they semis? They have some semi-like features. <laughs> I have Illinois plates. I'm an Illinoisian. You're foreign. Or is it Illinoisite? Foreign. In because it's an Iowa. You are an Iowan. Iowegian. I is an Iowegian. I have no idea. What's your favorite part of the any man of mine? Come on, everybody, on the floor. <laughs> One, One, two, two a three, three, four, hop, two. two. I got my candy. I got my Leslie. I got a slushie. Now we are gonna Whoa. go to the ghetto. This is where people die. <laughs> like, for real. Really? Where do I, I go? I'm not here. <laughs> Sammy, Sammy Wang, Wangness, Wangsness, Wangsness, with me today, and we are in Iowa. We are just leaving the hotel room. We're gonna go out for supper. She's and kidding. We're going out for drinks. <laughs> that too. And we're gonna talk while we drive, which this could be scary. Siri's gonna talk oh, see, to us. See, yeah. oh, <laughs> that didn't beep. That could have been bad. We are driving. We we are driving. So, are you from? Iowa? I am. I'm from Southwest Iowa. My town didn't have stoplights or anything. Neither does mine. Um, see, we're besties. Yeah. Does it have a, uh, well, it would have stop signs. It does. Five streets north and south, seven east and west. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? I'm not. Um, we had a gas station. We used to have two bars, but you know. And what town is this? Messina. Home of the friendly people. There's a sign. My mom was from a farm. My dad is from the same town that I grew up in and just a little love. Surrounded by a rural community. Oh yeah. Yeah. So why agriculture? I don't know. I didn't know anything different. Like my dad and my grandpa, well my grandpa started the location of the agronomy place in our hometown and my dad dropped out of college and went back and worked there with him after he'd worked there all through high school. and. I got into, I mean, I did sports, but I knew I obviously wasn't going to be making millions that way. I'm not and what was your sport? Oh, all of them. In a small town, you oh. can play all of them. Yeah. I, uh, even bowled. I did that in college. <laughs> and did you know that does not help your GPA? No. <laughs> I was so Did you upset. do darts? No. <laughs> no. Okay, I didn't but Have you ever played the dart game with, when you take a quarter and put a dollar around it and then you put chapstick on it and you throw it at a fat guy no. and it sticks to their belly? <laughs> no, I've not done that. Okay, well, welcome to Iowa. Maybe we can do that. <laughs> and have you always lived in Iowa? Turn yes. Turn west onto Court Avenue. Um, we'll I mean, just keep driving. Was, yeah, why not? There was a this couple is, summers I went to Oklahoma for a long time. That was nice. And this is downtown? Can I go left in this lane? It would, I, yeah. Whee! And you recently left... Your job. <laughs> I did. Cube life. Not good. Not good. No? News. What? Bad news. Bad news. Well, for Sammy. Yeah. Yeah. I got lonely. I mean. Lonely I just, in what way? I had no one to talk to. Oh, like during your job? Yeah. 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 Like I was, I'm very much a hands-on. Like I, yeah. I kind of want to touch you. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't. <laughs> like I'm meant to work with people. And yeah. I feel like I can fix things for them. Oh. And like. So what do you do now? So I am part of the dispatch team for JMT Trucking, which stands for Jeff, Mitchell, and Tyler, which is my father-in-law, brother-in-law, husband, and... Turn left onto East 4th Street. And we're going to pass left. the road again. <laughs> we're um, back at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> we might be in Canada soon. Um, we have 84 trucks of our own, and we hire out almost another 100 that do, and it's all dump trucks belly dumps, we haul rock, sand, salt. What if we turned left here? We can turn left. Basically, we get all these orders. People will call and be like, I need rock. I'm like, okay, what are you going to use this rock for? Turn like, left onto East Walnut Street. Rock is a lot like glyphosate. And so, what do you mean? Like, there's 97 different names for a type of glyphosate. Like this. Oh, okay, yeah. Because you have Roundup, you yeah. have Glystar, yeah. you have all of them. Inch and a half clean rock has a million different names. Yeah, I just, I like the white. Yeah, that'd be limestone. Rock. Right. Do you like fines in it? Because if there's fines, that's um, roadstone. Oh, I don't even know. Mile, I'm still learning. East Third Remember when we had our house, we bought a lot of white rock. Yeah, it's pretty. 
It's very expensive. Pretty. Oh, is it? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> now, what do you do there? So I am kind of quality control. I go through everybody's paperwork and make sure it matches up. So we dispatch, like, someone calls in, they're like, they need th this much rock delivered here. We send it to the trucker's box in their truck. Yeah. And Turn then they go. East 3rd Street. Then the destination is on your left. I think we're in the ghetto. <laughs> and then... Oh, no! Yeah, we gotta go left here. Because I bet it's right there. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> I'm not thirsty at all, Leslie. It's fine. <laughs> um, And then, at the end of the day, they all hand in their paperwork, and I have to match it up and make sure that they all go together. And so then, but in the midst of all of these 84 paper trucks of mine, I have all these other hired people that we've hired to work for us that I'm going through and answering the yeah. phone. So like a trucker will have stopped 12 times and I'll be trying to work on this paper for, I don't know, two hours. Yeah. And I'll have already answered 60 phone calls. Wow. Because the phone, I finally got a headset. So I feel like I'm in a band a little bit during the day. Or Britney Spears. A little bit. Hippie. <laughs> and my, my hands, I can just be talking and my hands are in the air. Yeah. And we stopped. It's again. stopped it again. again. <laughs> it's so awkward. It is. And, and it makes it, and it jolts too, so you feel it. So we're stopped at a stoplight and it shut, the it just, car shuts it's off. It's silenced. And then it's gonna purr. <laughs> Timing was, was great then. It hey, was. It was, it was meant awesome. to be awesome. And I mean, I've always wanted to learn more about the company because yeah. it's my it's my family. And Tyler does, Tyler works for another portion of the company, yeah. but not JMT. Like, he doesn't want to be involved oh, in the trucking, yeah. that's, and he's not an office person. Yeah. So I wanted to at least learn about it, so I knew what was going on. I'm like, on a Saturday or Sunday, like, oh. let, let me come in and drive a truck or ride along. I'm not allowed to drive them. It's not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Insurance policies say, <laughs> in all caps. And I have, a, like, GPS in all of them, so we pull yeah. open sh the webpage. Yeah. And I see all these dots move. <laughs> all these dots moving all around. Oh, so where the trucks are? Yeah. Oh, cool. And then I'll be like, wait a minute. Are what, they in the right spot? Doing? What yeah. are they? Do you call them and be like, where? What are you doing? Where? Where are you? We try not to let me use the radio. I'm not sure <laughs> why. <laughs> I'm really not sure why. Uh, what do you hope to do next? Like, have you thought of your next role? Well, if I want to figure out the whole paperwork shenanigans. Yeah. Because there's a lot to that. But next, I want to actually physically drive the trucks, like nice. to fully understand the situation. Cool. I want to be hands on out there doing it. Yeah. And hopefully, not have to drive the big guys in reverse too much. But are the trucks are they semis? They have some semi-like features. <laughs> we have a few oh, white yeah. ones. The white ones are the semis. Yes. Is that nice? Right? We semis. We have semis. a red semi. Oh, where are we going? Uh, I, I honestly <laughs> have no idea, but watch out for the big pothole. That could kill a person. We have potholes in Saskatchewan. But steering wheels on that side of the car in Saskatchewan too? <laughs> we're, we're the same. I thought maybe because I was veering into the oncoming traffic. Oh, no. I wasn't even worried about that yet. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Yeah. Our plates I mean, don't even say Iowa, so we're fine. They say, they say Illinois. Illinois. That's very different than your old job then. It is, but so... I actually used this company even before I knew it, my, knew it was my husband's family. I mean, what do you call, like, if I have Illinois plates, I'm an Illinoisian? You're foreign. Or is it Illinoisite? Illinois. In because yeah. it's an Iowa. You are an Iowan. Iowegian. I, is it Iowegian? I have no idea. Iowan, I call myself. I just... Uh, Illinoisian. Illinoisian. That's Illinoisian. A, that, that's hard to say. Yeah, Illinois. Really kind of it. Illinois. Like, I'm a Saskatchewanian. That's I think, also I think hard that's to say. How, do you miss living in Regina? Uh, I do. Conveniences. Yeah. But I, I really love my small town. See, I love the small town life, yes. too. I the one thing I haven't seen, so I've drove around here the last day, uh, I've not seen a Casey's or a Culver's. That's because you were in downtown Des Moines. Oh. And this is fancy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, one question I have. I have one, too. <laughs> have you met Shania? <laughs> I was going to ask about Shania. I have not met Shania, but I've seen her in concert. Have you seen her in concert? Three times. Three times. Oh, Wait, she's so Las good. Las Vegas, Las Vegas. Really? Oh, she oh, came yeah. to... I've cried every time. Really? Yeah. What is your favorite Shania song? Any okay. man of mine. Hey, that's a good one. Yeah. Which uh, what's your favorite part of the Any Man of Mine? Come on, everybody. On the floor. <laughs> one, one, two, two a three, three, four. Hop, two. two. She's so, so great. Why Shania? Why not Faith Hill? Well, she's also a nice lady. But Shania was the first cassette I ever had. Yes, my first, like one of my first CDs. Yeah, like I made a lot of mixtapes back in the day, but it was the first one that 
I had in my little. It's not a disc man, obviously, but a walk- Walkman. Walkman. I was gonna say walkie-talkie. Walkman. Yeah. I don't know what it is. She just she fixes everything, and she's hot. She's gorgeous. I mean, animal print. Meow. Mm. So. Good. Do you do you have a leopard print? Cape? I don't have the cape or the onesie, but I do have a swimsuit. How is it? That's really good. That's really greasy. You don't have it dripping off your chin yet, so it's not that good. Oh wow! That's how you know it's a good My one. My first Casey's pizza. And Iowa milk. Anderson Erickson. Mm. Mm. I got my candy. I got my Leslie. I got a slushie. When a woman's looking better than me, and when I cook them dinner and I burn it back, you better say, mm, I like it like that. Yeah. Keep it moving until you just can't take. truck on my butt. Oh, they're fine. They got a... Oh. 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 <laughs> hey -o. Uh So what's your most favorite part about living in Iowa? Waving at people and the food. How do you... One it finger depends. wave? When you're riding dirty. You gotta go... See, I wave like this. Well, if you know the person, <laughs> that's when you put your knee up and steer and you're like, hey! <laughs> you do one of those. Every time I complain about Iowa, it's in the winter time, but I wouldn't live anywhere else. Does it I mean, get cold? It's terrible, but not Canada cold. I mean, according to Twitter, it's awful up there. It, it can get quite cold. Well, Very and cool. I used to have it on my weather. I would check Saskatchewan every now and then. Really? Time. Yeah, because I'm like, if I ever need to feel better, this now we are going to go to the ghetto. This is where people die. <laughs> like, for real. Really? Where do I go? I'm not here. <laughs> See, this is like the nice ghetto. Well, it's still like, light their, out. Even their grass is cut. It's still light out, and the convicts probably come cut it with scissors when they're on parole. Okay, so you had lots of pre pre egg jobs, and then an egg job. No, so I was all ag. You're all well, egg. Because where did you go to school? So like, like, let's go back to the '90s <laughs> <laughs> when Shania was fresh, Sammy had her new spirit, cut her own bangs. The Spice Girls were together. Oh, they're back. <laughs> I remember when my dad told me that I couldn't like them because Ginger wasn't Playboy. Oh really? Oh, I don't know if I knew that. Yeah. So 90s, I had a mullet, bad haircut, everything, carried on with my life. Then came 2000s, still love Shania, got an FFA, 4-H, realized animals really aren't my thing, but crops yeah. are. And so then when I went off to college, I got on with the co-op. And I still worked at a sporting goods store. Okay. And I worked in the gun customer service department. The gun? I've never shot a gun. I've never even really held a gun. Oh, my land. <laughs> well, we haven't drank yet, so we could still do that. That's what we do for fun here. We shoot things. <laughs> and I worked at the co-op up and through graduation and after I graduated. And then when I left there, I didn't know what I was going to do with my life, and that was scary. Because I was like, I didn't know anything different than ag. But I, you were, I was like, yeah, who quits a job and doesn't have another one lined up? I did. I did. And it was great. And it's been great. And I had a nephew that I got to watch and take places. Oh. And my sister-in-law actually worked for the third-party insurance company a few years prior, and they needed help. And it was also good because I was dealing with a lot of city folks within the office, and they didn't get ag. Oh, so tell me more about that. Well, first of all, they don't know where their food came from. So did, would they ask you questions? Yeah. Well, and, like, they always thought, like, it just, I get so confused as to, like, how, like, we all live in Iowa. But I guess I just forget that people aren't raised... I'm not as blessed as us, maybe? Yeah. It really bothered me sometimes that they loved grass-fed compared to corn. Right, right. But, and they all thought, well, not all of them, because some of them understood, but they thought the corn in the fields was all sweet corn, that they could load up their oh. trunk and eat it. Yeah. Don't do that. So I explained to them that that's not right. that. We don't do that here. I mean, you could load it up and then take it to a cow. And do they have questions about... Uh, organic versus GMOs or to that, that was a degree. huge topic because oh, they all thought about. that which and some organic stuff is good for you yeah it, but well, they all, all food is good for you yeah and well they just didn't understand the difference like they really just thought buying organic meant that it was better for you like they didn't understand that organic non-gmo any of that stuff. they didn't right. understand the meaning behind it okay so on the flip side what did they teach you 
lot of them tried to help me with my fashion, or lack thereof. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They did not understand cowboy boots. Which, I mean, I, I make it sound bad. It wasn't that they, they were normal people. They were nice people. I liked them. I have a pair of uh, cowboy boots that you would only wear, like, out. I have 30 pairs of cowboy boots. <laughs> They're really comfortable. I feel uh, like they could be a Shania Twain video. They they would be, yes. They, do they, they light up? Uh, no, they That's do not. That's unfortunate. I know, kinda. You could probably fit both your shoes in one of mine. Or both I, your feet in one of my boots. How big are your feet? Twelve in women, ten and a half in men. <laughs> and I'm five foot seven. <laughs> no, really? I thought you are yeah. taller than that. You're just very short. Very short. But you know, I like this vehicle because it looks like I'm taller. You do look very tall. <laughs> I do. Does this, can I go up on a Tuesday? No. See, I... I don't Whoa. know why I look very tall. Like, if you think as classy as this thing is, it would have air ride. Like, how do I go up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me, tell me why cats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just love them. They're so soft and great. I have cat paws tattooed on my foot. Really? Yeah. Is that your only tattoo? No, I have five. Five? Yeah, so I have strength. With oh, a green nice. ribbon, yeah, for traumatic brain injury um, awareness, Aww. and the strength is kind of both been mentally for me and yeah. my aunt that went, or Tyler, well Tyler's aunt, so she's yeah, mine, that went through like she gives me strength when I am weak. And what did she go through? Um, she was actually on a walk and got hit by <gasps> a tow mirror on a truck. Oh my word! Yep, April nineteenth of two thousand seventeen, <gasps> and suffered a traumatic brain injury. Um, we they honestly didn't think that she would live and when I saw her for the first time I never thought she would walk talk yeah. do anything ever again and now um, You wouldn't know anything ever happened to her. Wow. I mean she still suffers really? from a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but holy but The first one I, ha I got is my grandpa's initials and it's was supposed to say inspiration in Chinese What does it say? I don't know Because <laughs> I've asked multiple people to write and they, they don't know what it's it, well I haven't shown them it but they've wrote it in the three different dialects that they know. And it's and not that. Every time I look, it doesn't match the paper, oh. no matter how many ways you turn it. I have believe with a cross across the top of my foot, but uh, that was always my motto, believe in me, because I was made for chasing dreams. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. That's it's really nice. Of inside of my foot, it looks like Herbert, but it was my Herbert. mom's, it's my mom's maiden name. Your mom's maiden name. Yeah, I got that, like, so I found out she had cancer first time and I came home from spring break and drove right to a tattoo shop oh so, yeah. and the first time so she's had it this is her second time she's now on the men's ish the second this time yeah so I don't know I'm probably gonna I, I still want another one yeah and I uh, the cap me and my best friend have cat paws on the top of my our feet nice because we're besties and she's also a crazy cat lady but you don't hate cats right no no oh, good answer no we well we need Cats, from from cats. Yes. Uh, had a cat growing up, uh, a little bit, um, uh, a little bit unstable. Was didn't like people. Well, yeah. Um, but definitely they are needed on the farm. So we. <laughs> well, thank you, Sammy. Thank you, Leslie. Uh, we're gonna go eat now. Um, go, nom nom. And where are we gonna go eat? The Miller High Life Lounge. Lounge. I can't wait. Shag carpet and everything. <laughs> Going back to the 70s. Peace and blessings. Bye.